Welcome back to round three. And uh, like I said in my Haunting in Venice review, if that really was a review, <laughs> here is my long awaited review on Saw 6. And uh, this cover was uh, a reissued special edition from like Walmart or something. Here is the actual cover. So I'll do that. <laughs> but uh, this was released in 2009 and uh, this movie is all about uh, a health insurance company and their misdeeds towards uh, treating sick people and denying their coverage. So, the way this movie starts off is two of these workers are uh, trapped in a room and uh, they had to essentially play a pound of flesh and whoever has the most flesh avoids being drilled in the head and uh, it's got this uh, this big guy and a black chick and uh, the girl actually gets a little bit smart here and she actually uh, ties a tourniquet around her arm and she actually cuts it off and she uh, avoids that fate while the guy actually cuts pieces of his stomach out while well, his gut and you know where this goes another uh, bloodbath I should say and uh, this focuses on a guy named uh, William Easton and he's in charge of this insurance company and he turns out to uh, deny John Kramer's medical claims so Kramer gets revenge on this guy and uh, he is forced to choose who lives and dies with him. This movie has always been like a step up from four and five in my opinion but six entries in it's pretty much the same thing. I do like the creativity of these traps but yeah <laughs> some of the traps that like really stand out are uh, there's this trap where uh, it's a secretary and another guy that works with him and he has to like uh, hold like a rope to determine which person survives before they get hung by barbed wire so he just has to like grab hold of the rope long enough before letting go and letting the other uh, victim die that was a pretty good one the next one was uh, this guy was blindfolded and uh, he had to like navigate a very narrow uh, floor or whatever and he had to like get a key before the guy fell down and there wasn't really that much gore on that trap 
but I think that's probably like the weakest trap in here. But the trap that like really stands out is the Carousel of Death. Trademark. <laughs> but uh, you have like six people on this carousel and he needs to kill four and keep two alive. Well, whoever he keeps alive, he has to like put his hand and like some kind of vice grip or whatever and uh, there's like a shotgun in front of this carousel and the shotgun like literally kablamos these four victims and leaves two alive. So that was definitely the best trap in this one. But this whole thing comes full circle when you realize that Easton actually denied coverage of this uh, mother and son, his father and husband. <laughs> well, the guy that he denied coverage had like, uh, I want to say like heart problems or something, and he just denied him, and that caused him the guy to die. So basically, uh, the mom and son got their revenge on Easton. And uh, he gets hydrofluoric acid in his back, which just like literally melts him to death. So he just like uh, gets bisected at the waist and pretty much that's the whole movie. <laughs> Trying to remember what the actual twist was. I don't remember, but... Uh, well, actually, Hoffman was still behind the killings. And uh, he actually uh, went rogue and killed some of the FBI agents in here just leaving traces of his evidence and he still got away but he also was in pursuit of Jill Took and he almost dies in this one because Jill Took gets the upper hand in here and she puts like the reverse bear trap on his head. He does escape, but half of his jaw is like missing. And that's the way this movie ends. There we go. <laughs> but uh, another solid entry that is a little bit better than Saw 4 and 5, in my opinion. Overall, I would give Saw 6 a B. It's not my favorite, but it is still watchable. And those are my thoughts on Saw 6. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I have one more video to film for you tonight and that is going to be Saul the final chapter I'll see you guys in a minute for my thoughts on that adios peace